Welcome to daily prayer for Tuesday, 24th March, from St. Nicholas Baclou Parish Church. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. We come before your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you because you come to us in Jesus, and you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because you invite us to come, and you have promised never to turn us away. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. God spoke through the prophet, saying, For a long time I have held my peace. I have kept still and restrained myself. Now I will cry out, like a woman in labour. I will gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbage. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by a road they do not know. By paths they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light the rough places into level ground. These things I will do, and I will not forsake them. And a reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, It is a very different Paul from the one that we were thinking about yesterday. As he's writing to the Colossians, he's older, wiser, more thoughtful. He has endured much and throughout it all grown deeper and deeper in faith. When he writes, he has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. It's like he is recalling the visit from Ananias to him in Damascus, that visit through which his sight was restored. Paul's prayer for his friends in Colossae could be our prayer for each other at this time. May we be made strong. May we be prepared to endure everything with patience. And even in strange and unsettling times, may we find joy. Let us pray. Christ the healer, we pray to you. For healing for the world polluted by our waste, for healing for the nations where there is war and violence, for healing for our communities 
where there are inequities and deprivation, for healing for those who are ill, for healing for ourselves. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, enter us, body, mind, and spirit, and heal us of all that harms us. In Jesus' name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. The blessing of God, Creator, Christ and Holy Spirit be upon us all. Amen.